Hello, chess lovers. I have another very fascinating game for you from US Chess Championship 2018. In round 7, Fabiano Caruana with the white pieces was facing Varujan Akopian. Caruana started with e4 and e6 by Akopian. Akopian goes for his usual French defense d4, d5, knight c3, knight f6, e5. White goes for Steinitz variation, knight d7, f4, c5, knight f3, bishop e7, bishop e3, knight c6, queen d2. Of course, all this is a standard stuff. b6, bishop b5, queen c7, protecting the knight, and white castles queenside. A very risky decision by Caruana. Caruana, which actually leads to very sharp variations. A6 asking the bishop make a final decision, and white captures on c6, queen takes c6. F5. Caruana is starting an immediate attack on the king side by sacrificing a pawn, but right now capturing on f5 can be very dangerous because after d takes c5, white can also capture on d5, and suddenly white pieces are getting very active. Later, this rook can come, and this can be very dangerous for black. That's why after f5, black played c4, closing the queen side and preparing b5, b4. Here Caruana spent half an hour on a choice that was difficult simply because he had so many good options. Fabiano was tempted by bishop g5, again a strong move which is even Angie's first choice but finally he came up with f6. He is just insisting on sacrificing a pawn. Finally, black accepted the pawn sacrifice, he takes f6, bishop takes f6 and rook f1 by sacrificing a pawn. White managed to open up the f-file and now will start putting pressure. b5, queen f2, b4, knight e2. Instead of placing the knight on e2 square, knight e4 also looks very interesting. The idea is that if d takes e4, then knight e5, trying to remove the defender and penetrate from the f-file. If bishop takes e5, then this can be even suicidal, white can capture on f7, and then on e5, if king c7, then rook d6, though white is a piece down, but white has a strong compensation, actually this attack is going to be destructive. Let's go back after b4, but we see knight e2, b3, already the b pawn is reaching its enemies, and knight e5, Kirana is not even paying attention what's going on on the queen's side, he's attacking black queen. Queen. Bishop takes e5. Well, instead of bishop takes e5, b takes a2 also looks interesting. The idea is that if knight takes c6, then a1, queen, if king d2, then queen takes b2. Though after rook b1, queen a3, knight e5, still white has a compensation. If queen e7, then white can exchange the knights and then capture on f6. Of course, this is an endgame which favors white. This is going to be winning. Let's go back, but after knight e5, we see bishop takes e5. And now Caruana is first capturing on f7, and after king d8, only now he captures on e5. b takes a2, already black is threatening to promote the pawn to a queen, king d2 covering the first rank. Rook f8, queen takes h7, rook takes f1, rook takes f1, and d4. Black is giving away a pawn in order to somehow activate his queen, but now simply queen g8 check and after king c7, white is also capturing on d4. Queen d5, queen takes e6 and queen a5 check. Akopian is rejecting the offer of queens, but actually that only favors white, the endgame is going to be winning for white. c3, knight takes e5. Instead of knight takes e5, if a move like a1 queen, white can capture on a1 and it turns out that black king can easily get checkmated. The queen which is cooperating with the bishop and the knight are easily killing black king. Look at this final mate. Let's go back, but after c3 we see knight takes e5. And now you can pause the video and try to find Kiruana's next move. Ready? In this position, Fabiano Kirana played rook f7 check, sacrificed his rook in order to open up the h2 b8 diagonal for the bishop. Knight takes f7 and the bishop jumps on f4 square with a tempo giving a check. King b7, queen takes f7 check and Akopian resigned because his king is simply getting mated. 
if king b6 then queen c7 this is a checkmate or if bishop d7 then again queen takes d7 followed by queen c7 checkmate a very aggressive game i think by kirona already during this tournament this is the second time where he is crushing french defense in a very spectacular way thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments good luck